guys welcome back to cancer my name is the blue with candace so we're going to do another video it's going to be on dependent personality disorder dpd um so we usually start with our check-ins basically what is your move for today if you're new welcome um so i usually do dance moves so it can be um emojis it can be lyrics it can be just typing in how you feel as long as it's appropriate and as long as it's positive put in the comments below guys um <laughs> I didn't even think about my dance move. You would think I would have, right? Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Whatever. There you go. So that's kind of my mood of today. It's kind of like, okay, <laughs> there you go. So jumping right into it, so dependent personality disorder. So, all right, it's this coming from the DSM-5, guys. So it's saying it's pervasive. It's a pervasive need to be taken care of that leads to some submissive and clingy behavior and fears of separation beginning by early adulthood and present in a variety of contexts. Um, so you, the DSM, stated that you must have five or more of the um, criteria um, that we'll be getting to now. So difficulty making everyday decisions without excessive amount of advice and reassurance from others, um, needing others to assure responsibility for most major areas of life, um, difficulty expressing disagreements with others because of fear of loss of support or approval, um, and it does not include realistic fears, so was disproportionate. Um, you have difficulty initiating projects or doing things on your own because of a lack of confidence and judgment or abilities, rather due to like a lack of motivation or energy. Um, the individual may also go to excessive lengths to obtain nurturance and support from others to the point of volunteering themselves to do things that's unpleasant to them. Um, so doing things that you really don't want to do, right? Um, the individual may have fears, uh, being uncomfortable, um, fears uncomfortable or helpless when alone because of the exaggerated fears of being unable to care for themselves. The individual may urgently seek another relationship as a source of care and support when the another close relationship has ended. And then um, the individual may experience unrealistic, preoccupied, may be experiencing unrealistic, preoccupied with fears of being left to take care of themselves, right? So the treatment, the main treatment is psychotherapy. We say that for short, talk therapy for short, right? Um, as far as treatment, the individual generally do not seek treatment for the disorder. They generally come in for treatment for um, problems that they're experiencing in their life, um, which is related to thinking or behavior related to the disorder. So the individual may become overwhelmed and unable to cope. And then they're also prone to develop depression or anxiety symptoms. So that's the association of DPD, dependent personality disorder. So psychotherapy, that's the main treatment, right? And basically the goal was to help the person be more active, independent, and learn to form healthy relationships. Um, and then it can be short term. Um, with identifying some goals which leads closer leads to um, being active independent and forming healthy relationships um, it may be a certain of training that's needed to help with your self-confidence it may be CBT which is over here is something major, right? <laughs> CBT cognitive behavior therapy um, just to look at how the person, their attitudes, their beliefs, their behaviors, and how it can be disputed, how it can be 
how um, healthy your thoughts, behaviors, and attitudes about their self, about others, about experiences, right? Um, and then we also have meds that can be used. So the meds can, can be used for other symptoms such as anxiety or depression. Um, but you have to monitor the meds because it is stated, and this is WebMD. So the treatment information is from WebMD. So um, it's stated that it has to be monitored because the person with this disorder may take the meds inappropriately or because they may abuse um, the prescription. So that's an interesting piece that I would probably like to follow up on um, just to see what makes that so, right? So yeah, we got through that pretty fast, the six minutes. So DPD, so, oh, I don't think we said that. So DPD is cluster C, personality disorder. Um, and then we talked about what the DSM says it is as far as criteria. You need to have five, right? We talked about some of the treatment um, with psychotherapy being the main treatment with the goals to look at independence, being active, and to help with forming relationships. We talked about serving them from this training. We talked about Oh, if you don't know what assertiveness training is, it's, it's basically a training to become more assertive. So it helps with like your decision making and being able to speak up and things of that nature. So you can kind of see that that would be good for, if you've been watching the videos, that would be good for different disorders, right? Um, as far as maybe social phobia, as far as um, avoiding personality disorder. So it could be done with a lot of things um basically to get you to speak up and to um help with your confidence um and then you know that helps with saying no we're not feeling mad <laughs> right a lot of people have that um issue as well and it doesn't have to be a disorder um da -da -da. and then it can be longer term as far as treatment guys i read that it can be like a longer term form of treatment where it's psychoanalytic so it's looking like at your childhood experiences and how how pretty much this order may have came to play so you're looking at like your childhood what happened there how can it had been caused, you know certain situations and experiences so that can be like a longer form of treatment as well um, on the counseling rim, that's where I like to stay because that's my expertise, right? <laughs> but, um, yes, so we're going to wrap it up here, guys. We're at the eight minute mark. Um, we really got through these videos pretty quick. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Let me know, um, how you're feeling today. Let me know if you have experience with these symptoms before. Let me know if you know somebody with this, um, disorder before um a lot of this stuff is pretty much things that we all go through on an everyday basis like it may not affect us um and cause an impairment but sometimes um i'm sorry i heard a noise and i stay by myself so <laughs> anyway so um basically like you know um not speaking up right that's something um that a lot of people experience low confidence things of that nature um maybe we might be dependent on somebody and it may be for different reasons so yeah um definitely just remember guys this order is impairment in everyday life i just like to stress that you have to have multiple areas of impairment work school social um so on right so thanks for watching like share and subscribe feel free to comment below i'll see you next time guys i did want to do another video but i don't know when i'll do that <laughs> i wanted to do another video that's probably going to be about narrative therapy um basically just a form of therapy that's used um where you can create your own ending um and, you know, pretty much talks about putting the pieces back together. So I would love, love to talk about that. I'll see you guys next time. And, yeah, I'll work on that video. See ya.